There's a bear involved. This is what I hoped. So, Banjo and Kazooie versus this is Palutena. This like the most messed up version of Pocahontas I've ever seen. Uh, um, I'm gonna let you explain that one later. Uh, there's a bear and it's trying to destroy. I, I don't a think prince. there's there. I don't think there's a God. bear or a prince in Pocahontas. <laughs> there's definitely a bear. <laughs> this is, I, I feel like in the um in the in the colors on the all the wind. She talks about bears. And yeah, but that's the wind. That's the colors of the character. wind. That's nature. There's nothing natural about this. There must have been a there bear is, character in Pocahontas. The they, love between a bear and a bird is definitely against the laws of nature. Uh, speaking against the laws of nature, Wonder Wing. That hit from across the universe, and that took out to, uh, that took out Frozen's first stock. Now, we just saw him do very well with his character. Didn't quite take the set, but did very well against Mr. E. Uh, and that's a... Is that harder than Palu? I, I don't know. I feel like if the opponent gets hit by Wonder Wing, then it's an easy matchup. That's just, that's just how it works. Well, it's a free win condition. It's a get out of jail free card. It's a heavily, it's a heavy hit move. It's also really the only reliable lateral recovery that Banjo Kazooie has. He has had. an infinite recovery. No, because he doesn't have an infinite Wonder Wings. If he's <laughs> No, no, because of the grenade. Yes, if his timing is good and Ray's timing is good with uh, his rear eggs, um, he can, like, in theory, come back after a while. But Palutena has sort of made a name for herself in being able to edge guard characters. Oh, uh, he had to, he had to lose two of his win conditions, though. But he got a stock and he's maintained the lead, so that's definitely worth it. I don't know. Two Wonder Wings for one stock. I don't know if that's worth it. There's definitely some, like, bargaining economy that we need to study for this one. I don't know if I would trade these, this many eggs for for a female, for a, a human being. Not even a human being, a goddess. Do you think that's at, worth, at least worth a bucket of milk? Or, like, a bale of hay? How much is a bucket of milk? Clearly worth less than these Wonder Wings. <laughs> Ray spent them all, all in one shot. Thankfully, he's got another stock ahead of him, so he's got five more later on if they're needed. Uh, oh, okay. oh, no. That was actually really cool. There were lots of ways. Obviously, the punish was there for him to take. And he went for that downer. It was really smart. Managed to get a decent chunk of damage out of it. And it's actually looking pretty good for him at this moment. What? Because this was still doable for Ray just a moment ago. Sorry, for Frozen just a moment ago. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure it isn't quite so doable for him anymore. Uh, he, so he took that stock, but now he has to deal with five Wonder Wings. Yeah, at 128%, that's just not a fun time. Uh, I do know also that there was some recent uh, labbing and research done that has to do with... Uh, yeah. Uh, that has to do with uh, shield... Trapping people in shield with, with uh, forward air and wonder wing. That's actually really good option coverage. If you do it, I'm not sure if Ray is so aware of it, but uh, apparently, like, the full jump version of forward air into wonder wing breaks a full shield. That's gross. Yeah, so That's it ends really up becoming like a, like a yucky mix up where it's like, do they hold shield, get shield broken? Do they roll behind and get hit by the wonder wing anyway? Do they drop shield to get hit by the wonder wing anyway? I don't want to get hit by wonder wing, I think. I think that's how this conversation ended. I just don't want to get hit. Somebody should, somebody should tell that strategy to Frozen. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Wow. Palace Pokemon League being the start for me, so I think it's really smart. There's a good amount of space that Palutena can safely zone and traverse in her own right. And like I was alluding to earlier, it costs Banjo a lot of resources to travel laterally while being aggressive. He doesn't have the best of run speeds. He has to commit to a Wonder Wing if he's going to try to move ahead. Uh, one of the sort of drawbacks possibly at this stage for Frozen, though, the higher ceiling means that Impalu likes to kill off the top, especially because Banjo gets jugged. You know, Banjo, he ends up on top of, uh, especially when he's done with his Wonder Wings, he kind of gets just stuck above Palu, his garbage airspeed, but with a higher ceiling. Okay, never mind. I take back everything. That ceiling saved Frozen's skin right there. You also got to remember that Frozen's going to be looking to kill a lot more towards the sides or through Gimping. So, like, 
taking that as a as a uh, trade for your kills, I feel works out really but well. But he hasn't for really been uh, effectively killing off stage. I don't think. Well, not that we've seen yet. Because to, to raise credit, he has been playing pretty well. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Banjo can be pretty tricky in his disadvantage, especially off stage. He can kind of stall. He can mix up his exact placement, and. Besides just like run off, you know, drop zone nair, it can be a little bit hard for Palu to reliably just go out there and destroy opponents on stage. Down throw up tilt and that'll kill, yep. I love how Ray is keeping, like, a solid zone away from Frozen. He's, like, keeping a distance where he's not quite in, like, regular explosive flame distance. Oh! Whoa! Oh, wow, that was actually so good from Frozen. Yes, he did take a little bit of a hit on that uh, grenade, but that was 100% worth it, especially because we've seen that uh, Token Ray survivability is one of his strongest suits. Like, the shock pad is not the safest of recoveries, and it's not often that we see people go out there to tango with Banjo, when the most that he could do is Wonder Wing or pull, uh, pull an egg grenade. And there goes the first one of the second stock. You know, it's really not the Wonder Wings that are doing much for a race, so much as more as the, uh, the way that he uses the grenade egg. Like, he has fantastic decision making with how he grabs it, keeps st uh, space denial, holds onto it in shields. The whole nine yards, it's a really good tool, and I feel like Ray has a good grasp of how to utilize it. It is also just worth mentioning that we are still in best of five. So this is not frozen. This isn't the end of the line. Oh, sorry, it's for Ray, it's not the end of the line for him if he dies here. Yeah, to my knowledge, I think we are done with the uh, the best of three territory. Wait, did, did from Frozen here on. win the last game? What? I thought I thought I thought you Ray won the last game. Am I crazy? I think you might be crazy. Oh no, yes, no, that's correct. Okay, we need to yes. update the scores. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, with the score, I'm just thinking now because he did the down uh, down throw to up tilt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, sorry, we have to update the, uh, the scores will get updated for you in just a little bit. But in fact, Utopian Ray is actually the one with the 1-0 lead, which just changed things. Uh, this you know, could be a really back and forth set, uh, but if Utopian Ray takes this game too, that's a huge deal for him. Wow, chasing him all the way with that Wonder Wing, but he's on his last stock. I'm sorry, did you see how many he had left? I believe now it's three. Three win conditions, that's all he has. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful juggling here from Frozen, managing to catch not just Banjo Kazooie, but also the egg. So he doesn't have to worry about that. Oh wow! Great job getting out of that tricky situation. Frozen now is once again in control here. Oh, and he misses the tech. Beautiful job. He really that couldn't up do smash. anything out of that. He would have had to, I believe, roll back. I think Rollback might have also gotten hit. Like, the, it was directly in the middle. We could take a look at that replay, maybe. Yeah. He was directly in the Dev, middle. Dev, we can of get it. a replay on that one. The end of the stock two is really. End of stock two? End of stock three for game two, my bad. Wait. Yeah, then I just. Sort of, yeah, last, here we oh, go. Just the last kill. So, I just want to take note of where we see the uh, the charging start. So, yeah. Oh, it's oh, he did no. get up attack. He did get up attack and got toasted for it. I think if he did neutral get up, he would have been all right. Or if he did oh, back that's roll. that's so unfortunate. Because if he rolled towards the back, the... that might have also been a buffer uh, get up attack. Oh, there's a chance, but either way, like it was just not a good option, and we got exploded for it. The score is now one one. Um, and game three bringing us over to Stadium Two. Odd pick? What's the score? 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Yes, Ray took oh. game one. Oh. Hold on, on. Ray should be all right. Recovery. Infinite recovery. Oh, there it is. Great job oh, from yeah, Topian right. Ray. I thought he was a goner, but as we see, kind of snake light. He's able to recover from all the way out there, even after accidentally side being in the completely wrong direction. You know, he stays alive and he's got the damage lead, but it does mean he's had a little bit of a lack of resources as far as the Wonder Wings are concerned. I think he still has two. Uh, he still has them, but this is still a fresh stock. Like, 
Those are just less Wonder Wings for him to leverage later on, so he's gonna have to just out neutral Frozen. Well, I mean, I think that's something he's not too timid to do. Look at this, the way he's actually using down tilt to outspace Palu's aerials. He seems really confident. I mean, he does play this character normally. Uh, Palu is his sort of go-to name. I do know, I believe he hates the Palu Ditto though, and that's probably the reason why he's going Banjo right here. Additionally, we have a lot of Palu tennis in New York, and it's not out of the realms of possibilities for Ray to have gotten practice for this matchup uh, far ahead of time. Whereas I'm pretty sure he's the, except maybe Stock Taker, he's the only Banjo. We have very few Banjos so far. I mean, there are very few Banjos in general. It's, he's a, still a new character. People are nervous to like dedicate themselves to a new character when it means that they're guaranteed to suffer in tournament placings for a decent chunk of time. Additionally, the general consensus is that Banjo sits sort of in like the middle range of characters. He's not really hasn't found a spot for himself in the meta yet. As a lot of people recognize that while he has good tools, they're not very cohesive to a game plan, and Wonder Wing is more gimmicky than anything else. It's a big swing, but you can get grabbed out of it. You can get forced into situations where you utilize it. The character's not carrying nearly as heavily as anyone would expect of a, uh, you know, like a top tier. That being said, though, Ray does play well with the character and is managing himself a pretty bloody lead, but a lead nonetheless in Game Oh, well, that might be it. Oh, good air dodge, but he actually gets re-grabbed. Maybe a pummel could have helped, but uh, oh, would no, he, he probably was hoping for bad DI right there. And as it stands, let's see if he can, let's see if uh, Ray can get any sort of extra credit. Banjo being a thick boy, he is still alive, but I don't think he has any Wonder Wings left to recover with, so he's basically forced to use that up B. That is the fakest con. <gasps> this is the worst damage I've ever seen anyone take in bracket. Not at all that happened. All right, well, just like that, Frozen went from, like, narrowly avoiding damage for an incredibly long time to almost having a stock melted. This is actually kind of wild. Now, one thing is, we're seeing a lot of that Banjo up air. Banjo up air is actually has a really good hitbox, which is especially useful against Palutena because of her own decent hitboxes. So even though it might not kill, uh, we're seeing a lot of utility from, a, from Utopian Ray. And, I mean, he's just looking pretty solid right now. Frozen actually missing those ledge cancels, a bit much characteristic of him. So maybe he's sort of a bit nervous. I mean, that's to be expected when you're sort of facing down an unexpected foe here. That being Banjo coming out of Ray. You know, I'm curious, as we move on into game four, uh, regardless of result, if Frozen will continue to stay Palutena or move on to Joker. Because I feel like Frozen isn't able to control space as confidently as he normally does with Palutena. Like, Ray is just staying out of a lot of those danger zones. I say as he is dead center of an explosive flame that ties up the stock count. Uh I, it's funny, I haven't seen that many explosive flames. I don't know whether that's that uh, Frozen isn't, just isn't going for them, or whether Utopian Ray is spacing himself well enough that Frozen just immediately recognizes, oh, I should not be even bothering with explosive flame. Considering the fact that he's... Now up tilt. Yeah. Will that kill? Yes, it will. And just like that, Ray takes favor as we move on to game four. Yeah, that's... I see that some reflection going on in Frozen Space. We might actually see that counter pick in this game four. Uh, I mean, he won game two. It's not like this is an unwinnable matchup for him. No, but not at he all. He doesn't it's... look comfortable at all. That's like the big part of it. We see how he can sh move. He can move all over the place. It's one of the no, best yeah, it's just too parts goofy of, of him. It's just too goofy of a matchup. And it, especially if you're unfamiliar with the opponent and their hitboxes and the way that they set up their walls, movement is pretty much the first thing to go. You're going, okay, let me hang back a little bit. Let me just like take things more patiently, which ironically enough is sort of falling into uh, Utopian Ray's favor. He picked into Palu, but more importantly than not, he's bringing us to Yoshi's story. So sticking Palu for this stage, I think is actually really smart, but I'm concerned that Frozen being uh, slow to the kill throughout the set is gonna really hurt him here on this stage. Because if you give Ray any extra amount of time, 
like you're just gonna lose that stock that much earlier because the small, like the tight in blast zone is going to be just as beneficial to Utopian Reigns as it is to him. I will say one of the one of the reasons that Palutena's in general like this stage, that top platform, she can combo to it pretty reliably, and then having up there to finish off the opponent, she can end stocks absurdly early. And if uh, Frozen is able to do something like this, considering the fact that the Utopian Ray hasn't really been doing combat stuff, he's just playing a methodical, effective game plan over the course of you know six minutes. So. If he loses a really early stock like that, that might just be curtains, even if it's the first stock of the game. Down throw, what's the follow up? We're gonna see an air dodge from Ray. A pretty smart one at that. Wow! Wonder Wing's not active fast enough. Everyone forgets that move's got quite a bit of startup on it. I like how Frozen now is trying to check Ray with a lot more dash attack and back air, take advantage of the fact that he doesn't have to worry about the threat of grenade with those moves. It's just smarter poking in neutral, and I think that's what's helping him stay afloat. He's also playing pretty evasive now. We're starting to see uh, Frozen try to play from the outside. Oh, the tilting! <laughs> That's super unfortunate for Utopian Ray. And now he's taking all of this extra damage because he didn't know. Oh, back there will still give you a, a quick kill. I will say, doing a really good job with these in-between stocks. He like, just doesn't get hit while uh, Frozen has invincibility, it seems like. Oh, man. That was cute. Not a lot of damage to speak of, but a cute combo nonetheless. Oh, we uh -huh. out. We are out. You didn't even need the uh, infinite part of that recovery. Just able to get back to stage. Just his normal resources. Oh, he didn't grab the grenade, which meant that if he didn't make it back to stage, he was just a goner. What's he in there? Okay. <laughs> then Egg took a, it took a sweet time to hit him, but... Overall, I feel like Frozen has figured out a, a much stronger defensive game plan, and it's reflecting really well in the game plan. Like, Frozen seems to be a lot more confident with his movement as well. Okay, he only has one of those Wonder Wings left. But I don't think he... he Alright, so at this point, and what does he need to do in order to get this comeback? Because reliable damage... I don't know if it's enough. Yeah, he's starting to go for these harder hits, which, considering the fact that Frozen hasn't had to worry about playing around those harder hits for a while, that might be good. You know, sort of the Randy smash attack, if your opponent isn't expecting it, can be really effective. But, uh, of course, the inherent risk in that, he's on his last stop. If Copian Ray gets hit too much, then this game absolutely just, you know, every hit brings him further and further from a victory. He's doing that a lot. Getting the wrong direction on Wonderwing. Yeah, that's pretty curious as far as missing hits are concerned. I, I know it's something that he kind of was struggling with with the character from the beginning. It's just weird little bit inputs like that. I guess because it's super noticeable, everyone's paying attention. But that time up tilt connected because, you know, they're due. I think, yeah, but I think Ray moved a little forward that time. Make it work. I mean, for what it's worth, he could be going for forward smash. And forward smash will catch uh, even if first decides to mash out. That was a really cool parry. And now we actually have a, I'd call this an even game. Based on these characters' relative weights, uh, and the fact that it feels that Topi Ray is getting more of that momentum. Dude, this could be, these next few seconds will probably dictate who wins. I'll be honest with you, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see ourselves go to the game five. But Ray being able to snatch this back is still possible. He's alive. He has to use a Wonder Ring to recover right there. And at 73%, oh, this could be big. He gets a down throw. Oh, he went for that really big hit. Would have been really great for him, but as it stands, he's still alive. 140% is scary for him, but and another grab. Frozen might be a little bit too scared. He air dodges off big into the- Big match oh. that time. And he gets it. He got it. caught. Oh. 
frozen. All right, a 3-1 for Utopian Ray as Banjo and Kazooie nail the victory. Was that his last? Was that his last win condition? Too? I think he had one more after that. He had one that. more. Oh no, yeah, but that was still like really good placement of it. The timing, eh, but Frozen happened to leap right into it.